evening On the train bound from nowhere I met up with a gambler We were both too tired to sleep So we took turns of staring Out the window at the darkness Till boredom overtook us And he began to speak He said, son, I've made a lot Out of reading people's faces And knowing what their cards were By the way they held their eyes So if you don't mind my saying I can see your outer faces For a taste of the whiskey I give you some advice So I handed him my bottle And he drank down my last swallow And then he bummed a cigarette And asked me for a light And the night got deathly quiet And his face lost all expression He said if you're gonna play the game boy You gotta learn to play it right You got to know when to hold it Know when to fold it Know when to walk away Know when to run You never count your money Sitting at the table There'll be time enough to count When the deal is done Gambler knows that the secret to surviving is knowing what to throw away and knowing what to keep. Cause every hand's a winner and every hand's a loser. And the best that you can hope for is to die in your sleep. And when he finished speaking, he turned back toward the window, crushed out a cigarette. Faded out to sleep And somewhere in the darkness The gambler he broke even But in his final words I found the name Of the blue Caribbean Sea Send your blessings to our people Who feel hopeless and abandoned Shine your light You got to go That is what we will vote for Who will vote for you? Know when to run away Know when to run You never count your money While sitting at the table, there'll be time enough to count When the deal is done, you got to know when to hold it Know when to fold it, know when to walk away Know when to run, you never count your money While sitting at the table, there'll be time enough to count When the dealing's done, you got to know when to hold it. Know when to fold it. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. While sitting at the table, there'll be time enough to count.
you ain't seen nothing. Yeah. You ain't seen now, make the people suffer. It's we for the people now, vote for the oppressor. Catch it, huh. Titan rebels all them are utter. But we can't make Trinidad go to the gutter. Quick time on the high and the streets get hotter. Food prices rise soon, we can't buy butter. Catch it, uh, tighten my belt is all them are utter Can't can make Trinidad go to the gutter Quick time on the high and the streets get hotter Food prices rise soon we can't buy butter Trinidad, man, sick Get, get them out quick, get, get, get them out quick Yellow is the coda Yellow is the coda Sí. 
vote for you and see. That's the way to secure your family. All that's fucking vote for you and see. That's the way to secure your country. Trinidad Rio Merry New Year, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is straight, die hard, genuine, authentic Kaiso. And this is how the story goes. I went to public utilities and tell them. Connect them facilities Cause me you want them I try to contact the ombudsman But never in office I'm going to file me an injunction On the public service Cause every time a heavy rain fall By me don't have no current at all they spoil me TV, they spoil me fridge They nearly kill me with low voltage Now before they make me a lunatic I'm going back to basic I'm going and get a flambeau and lamp with wick I'm going back to basic Call me fans and I call me friends to let them know that if they have a message to send, tell tempo. And if they come home and then you see me, tell me neighbor or get a pen and a writing pad and write a letter. Cause CSTT does make me weep Gone are the days when old talk was cheap I make a phone call to Talparo And I get a phone bill to Mexico Oh my lad before they kill me and kill me quick I'm going back to basic A piece of maling and two clean pan wouldn't do the trick I'm going back to basic I went and buy me a motor car for my own comfort because I can't take no more torture waiting on transport. But all them potholes and all them pump, me can't enable until they invent a car to jump. Well, I go travel. I beg the Lord to please put a hand Touch the hearts of this dear parts man I used to have a raise in the bank Now every cent gone in me gas tank Now I prefer roller roller with piece of sticker Now going back to basic Or buy a three speed bike go in chick 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 Now going back to basic
Now the only competent source that really working is when you can't pay your bills on time. Bill, they come cutting. Incompetence and disregard in no humor. Cause the situation is sad for the poor consumer. The word wasa does give me gripe. I ask for water, then give me pipe. I can't even get my clothes to wash. My toilet full and can't even flush. Now they make me condemn my toilet bowl. Going back to basic. And now I dig in a latrine hole. I'm going back to basic. Trinidad Rio. Yesterday, I went to the store to buy a cooler. It's time for win. Then get me Indian partner next door to make a chula. I buy a donkey cat from Ramdeen to make a stagecoach. Then put some severin in my latrine to kill the cockroach. I buy a posy made in Hong Kong The only silver posy in town Well if you see the latrine I build Y'all is the cleanest one on the hill All down inside the hole and around the walls I always split in You know why? To make sure cockroach ain't bite me Trinidad Rio Rio Back to basic Thank you. Please remain standing as I invite Brother Shahid Kurban to invoke the presence of Almighty God. Pleasant good afternoon. For each and every one, Lord, that is represented here this day, Lord. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you have guided us throughout the day, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you have brought us into this house, Lord, safely, Lord. Those on the way, Lord, we pray that you're going to hasten their footsteps, Lord. 
Lord, we pray, Lord, that every undertaking this afternoon will be for the upliftment of the United National Congress. Lord, every leader is Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you're going to minister. And Lord, we claim the victory in advance, Lord. Lord, united we stand and divided we fall. And we thank you in no other name but in Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank you. you may be seated, brothers and sisters. Members of Parliament, with us this afternoon, the host, the Honorable Rudrunath Inder Singh, Member of Parliament for Kuva South. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Member of Parliament for Baratara Sawa, Saddam Hussein, that's it for him as well. <laughs> candidates, all winning candidates, that is. Let's give our winning candidates to be councillors a round of applause. Supporters, well-wishers, activists, people all. This is the United National Congress meeting as we get for Monday the 14th, 2023, when our candidates will all return to the Kuva Tabaki Talparo Regional Corporation, 15 of them victorious. We have a battery of speakers, inclusive of the candidates, and they will tell you who they are in brief moments. So at this time, we want to start the ball rolling, but I want to ask you, are you secured? Are you secured under the house of the rising sun? We have to stay there. Our first speaker, ladies and gentlemen, very dynamic. Small in size, but powerful in action. As we welcome him for the first time going into the regional corporation, no other than the candidate for Bridge and Castle Esperanza of our very own Gangaram Gopal. It's time for we to build a better Come on! It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your family. August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your country. Stand your ground now for you and your family. Thank you very much, Chairman. All, put, put, all put, protocol observed. I am Gangaram Gopal, your UNC candidate for the electoral district of Richard Castle Esperanza. Rest assured that this district has always been in the hands of the UNC and will remain in the hands of the UNC after August 14. Nothing can stop the UNC from winning this seat. We will stand our ground and empty the political clip on the PNM. Who is a total alien to this district? I am ready and prepared together with my team to take the, ele the electoral district of Richard Castle Esperanza by storm with a resounding majority. When the poll is closed on 14th of August, the UNC will not only be victorious in the Bridget Castle Esperanza Electoral District, but all 15 districts in the Kuva Tabaki Talpa Regional Corporation. It's licks in the east, licks in the west, licks in the south, licks in throughout Trinidad and Tobago. I thank you and may God bless you. It's time for win. To build a better T and T. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 14, vote, vote for UNC. UNC. That's the way to secure your family. The man say licks in the east, licks in the west, licks all about Gangaram Gopal. Let's hear it once more for winning candidate, Gangaram Gopal. Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, no stranger to politics. Very community-oriented person, making a, a debut at the regional corporation vying for. Let's put our hands together as we bring on the candidate for Karatal Tortuga, Saran Baral Ayu. It's time for we to build a better T and T. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. Oh, now it's the time to my UNC family. All MPs. 
and all the winning candidates in the Cooper Tabakital Power Regional Corporation. All of you beautiful UNC people and all those who are listening on air. At the age of 17 years, I gravitated to politics because I realized that the political party in power holds in their hands the resources to improve the lives of citizens. Growing up in the rural community of Tabakit, the level of neglect under the People's National Movement for years have been a heavy, frustrating burden. We suffered for basic necessities such as water, electricity, roads, agricultural access roads, bridges, flooding, just to name a few. Our UNC party vision has always been about empowering people. I was privileged to be part of the transition when the United National Congress changed URP to ETP, Employment Training Program, through which persons received a skills certificate upon completion. The vision of our UNC party, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. That is our UNC policy. Only under our beloved party, the United National Congress, farmers in rural areas got agricultural access roads and bridges. Residents got water in their taps. Children got laptops, school book grants, children life fund and gate funding. I want to tell you, UNC family, having walked through my electoral district of Caratal Tortuga, the struggles resumed in the last eight years. Frustration levels are high. Predial larceny are affecting farmers in the Caratal Tortuga electoral district. Parents are crying for school books and food is unaffordable in my district. Parents are back to the days, I don't know if you all remember, where they are holding a fundraiser to get medical surgeries and treatment for their children. We've gone back to those days. When our political leader had put in place a children life fund and we didn't have to study where surgery coming from, where money coming from. So today I am calling on parents to make the right choice, to secure your future, our children's future, and vote for you by voting for the UNC or NTA candidates in the local government elections so our children will have a brighter future. In Caratal Tortuga, feel safe with who? Feel safe with our Hugh. On August 14th, vote for who? Vote for our Hugh. UNC, I'm proud. Caratal Tortuga. It's time for win. To build a better TNT. Come on. It's time for win. To vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. She is not sounding like a debutant, she talks like a veteran. Let's get it up for once more. A winning candidate, Sharon Badalau. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from one winning candidate to our next, a man whose father has served local government fraternity at the Kuva Tabakital Para Regional Corporation, passing the battle to his son. Coming to do human service for the UNC and for Trinidad and Tobago. Let's put our hands together as we welcome the candidate for Car Gasparlo Bonaventure, Ravi Puran Mahan. It's time for win. To build a better TNT. Come on. It's time for win. To vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your family. Thank you. August 14, vote for Thank UNC. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Honorable political leader of the United National Congress, Mrs. Kamala Prasad Bisesa, all members of parliament, all winning candidates, and you, my UNC family, a pleasant good night. Thank you. I am Ravi Puran Maharaj, your winning UNC candidate for Gaspar Bonaventure. I am deeply honored to be your candidate at this time, but more so your counselor after Monday, 14th August, 2023. 
I must say, and I must reflect on yesterday, it brought back many painful memories of 2010, when parts of Trinidad suffered, suffered severe flooding. My team and I switched from campaign mode and went into a full disaster response unit. In a matter of minutes, Gasparilla was flooded. My office, my campaign office, was converted into a kitchen where 250 hot meals were prepared and distributed to those affected. And that, my friends, is the UNC way. That is the UNC way. We put on our boots and we hit the ground. Our leader led by example, and yesterday, Team Gaspolo Bonaventure, Team Gaspolo Bonaventure put on their boots and we were on the road until 8.30 p.m. distributing hot meals. And I must now use this opportunity to highlight the suffering of those in Gasparillo, the suffering caused by the spiteful, wicked, and uncaring PNM. We have been begging for the Maradule River to be cleaned, the Guacara River, and all the minor water courses. Until this day, nothing has been done. I witnessed firsthand the loss of books and uniforms already bought in preparation for school in September. Everything gone, everything lost. Can you imagine that frustration? Having worked in a supermarket for $100 a day, put together the money, purchase these books and uniforms for your three children, and everything gone in a matter of minutes. Can you really imagine the frustration experienced by these families? Families lost everything, all because of the neglect and lack of care by the present administration. All we are asking is for these rivers to be cleaned so that the threat of flooding will be reduced, so that families will not experience such a loss. Time does not permit me to express all that I wish to, but my brothers and sisters, we can speak on Monday 14th, August 2023, when we use the voice of the ballot paper, when we use the strength of our voting fingers, and we send a loud and clear message that Gasparilla Bonaventure and Trinidad and Tobago is not ready for a, that, that we are ready for a government of compassion, vision, and service, that we are not prepared to live under the neglect of the PNM, that we are ready to return our dear political leader, our mother, a very caring and compassionate individual as the, the head of this country, as our Prime Minister. So on Monday, 14th August, I urge you, come out in your numbers and vote for the United National Congress. Vote for all of our candidates. Place your ex next to the rising sun. Let us secure our communities, secure our families, secure our country. I am Ravi Puran Maharaj. I thank you. It's time for win. To be a better to young team. Come on. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure. Man, the expression these candidates are given, you could tell the victory is nigh. Victory is here. Well done, Ravi. Let's give him another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. As we move through the length and breadth of Kuva Tabaki Talparo, we are met with warm embrace. Everywhere the people are willing to embrace the UNC candidates. And because the others on the other side, they are saying they don't want to see them. People are frustrated and talking about frustration. Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, can tell you of frustration of the people. Let's welcome the candidate for Calcutta number three, McBean Alan. Taxi, Sipasad. It's time for we to build a better to young team. Come on. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your family. Thank you, Chairman Ramchan Rajbal Maraj. All protocol observed. My brothers and sisters, let me hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is the code? The rising sun will rise 
and rise again on the 14th, which is Monday. Give yourself a round of applause. My honorable political leader and the next Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, our dear sister, Kamala Prasad Bifesa. Tonight, I want to say to you all, as your local government representation, I am here to work for you and I will continue to work for you with my love and harmony and unity. My brothers and sisters, I want to thank my leader for giving me a next chance to serve my people in the best of my ability. And whatever I am doing, I'm doing it sincere for my heart, my brothers and sisters. Our people in our electoral district are suffering. My colleagues, my candidate colleagues, we know that what we are going through, as the chairman said, frustration. We just try our best in the little resources we get. And I want to tell all you something. Eh? I have two members of parliament, right hand and left hand. And anything I do in, under my DB, development program, and under my recurrent, I brace the two and I said it's so much half pong a feed I get. And how are we going to share it? We here under the leadership of Kamala Prasad Bifesa, when the administration, when she was in government, we never suffer for goods and services in that Kuva Tabaki Talparo and throughout the country. Today, today I want to say here, yeah, my brothers and sisters are talking from my heart. The PNM government is a total failure. And it's time for them to go. And I want to tell the Minister of Local Government, take your bag, you have a few days. Your eve will be on Sunday when we will take the cooperation throughout the country of Trinidad. So I want to thank you, I have plenty to say, but my chairman only tell me five minutes. But I want to tell you all, when you all go out to the poll, encourage your neighbors and your friends, and who you vex with, talk to them from tomorrow, and carry them on Monday, and vex with them Tuesday. So my brothers and sisters, I love you all and I want you all to work to make sure we bring back our Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bisesa to run this country with her cabinet and the rising sun will stay together. Where there is unity, there is strength. It's time for we to build a better It's time for we to vote for the U.S. That was a powerful candidate, a, co a councillor who has been working for the people over the years. Let's give it up once more for Mr. Frustration, Alan Taxi Sipasad. Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to recognize the member of parliament for Kuva North, MP Ravi Ratiram, and the member of parliament for County Central, MP Anal Ram. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you we have candidates at the highest caliber here. They are sure to come back and represent the people of Kuva Tapa Talparo to the best of their ability. And that, once we get rid of the PNM and get more corporations, there will be no political biasness and we will demand fair share from the Minister of Finance. As we move on, our next candidate and winning candidate and winning candidate 
Come now, a lady who knows how to relieve people from flood. She sacrificed her own home in time of flood to go and rescue people in her electoral district. Let's give it up to our next winning candidate for Las Lomas, San Rafael, Balmati Gosain. It's time for win. To build a better T&T Come on! It's time for win To vote for the UNC So let me tell them August 14, vote, vote for UNC. UNC That's the way to secure your family Thank you, Chairman Honorable political leader MPs, fellow candidates Ladies and gentlemen Listening and viewing audience Good evening I am Balmati Gosain Your UNC candidate For the electoral district of Las Lomas, San Rafael and I am very thankful to the Honorable Political Leader for once more allowing me the opportunity to serve my Burgesses. Today is a great day as we assemble with all the dynamic and winning candidates for the Coover Tabaki Talpa Regional Corporation. And I say great because we are the ones who would lead the way towards the much needed political change, quality of service and representation for all our people. Every one of my colleagues here and I have walked within our respective electoral districts and listened to the cries of our Burgesses. And together, we will face all the challenges and work and bring about a better standard of living for all the people. As your candidate for Las Lomas San Rafael, I promise to uphold the convention and principles of our party, the United National Congress. I continue the battle for my Burgesses so their daily lives will be improved. For a new bridge at Esperanza Trace, the rehabilitation of roadway within the Las Lomas San Rafael area, water mains at Ramguli Trace East, Box trains at Ramgoli Trace North, Petersville, Algo Trace, upgrades to our recreation grounds. These are just a few projects I, I intend to embark on. I will work assiduously with my member of parliament, the chairman of the corporation, my fellow councillors and all the men for better representation to all of my people. I solemnly promise to hold continuous conversation with my Burgesses of Las Lomas San Rafael to work together in service with cultural, religious, and civic groups to provide proper and effective representation to my Burgesses. People are the cornerstone of my assignment again. As your counselor, the task of national development and nation building remains an ongoing process and I am pleased to be part of that process again. Madam political leader, I say, I say thank, thank you, you for giving me such a great honor to represent the people and I will not let you down. I will fulfill my duty honestly and sincerely. Thank you very much. May God bless our leader. May God bless our great party and every one of you. And remember, don't tote, vote. Yellow is the code. On August 14, come out and vote in your thousands. Vote for the United National Congress. It's time for we to build a better T&T. Come on. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them, August 14, vote for UNC. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Candidate Balmati Gosain. Good presentation, and we all looking good. So far, we have them in the bag. As we continue from one candidate to another winning candidate. He hails from Kaparo Mamoral Electoral District. Serve in the constituency of County East County, Tabaki Talparo, up on that side. Um, Constituent of Talparo, our winning candidate and well served his constituents, his Burgesses. Let's put our hands together for John Abraham Lizama. It's time for we to build a better T&T. Come on, it's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them, August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your family. August 14, vote for UNC. Thank you, Chairman. 
Um, I get a new name now, but nevertheless, it's a good name. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here as the, counsel, the returning councillor. Why I say returning councillor for the Caparo Mamoral District because I know I'm going to win. I must say, acknowledge the MPs, MP Indari Singh, Anul Ram, MP Ravi Ratiram, every Saddam Hussein, and most of all, the political leader of the United National Comrades, the Honorable Kamala Prasad Bisesa. Ladies and gentlemen, I am John Nezama, the candidate selected to represent Kaparo Mamoral for yet another term. This is my third term into the as a representative for that area, and I know I'm going to win by a landslide. <laughs> Nevertheless, the problems of Kaparo Mamoral is not new, and it just keeps deteriorating from the last eight years to what we should call now landslip city. Ladies and gentlemen, these areas, they are forgotten, really, really forgotten. We have an MP in the name of Foster Commons who have now decided that land in Mamoral is good for him. But the land in Mamoral is good for him. But the roads in Mamoral are not good for the people. Ladies and gentlemen, if one shower of rain fall, everybody who out of Caparo area to get to any part cannot and will not reach home until that flood water recedes. And today, I ask everyone, it's time for change. And the only way we could bring about change is to get rid of the PNM. And if we do not get rid of the PNM, according to the old people, scrap or smoke our pipe. Long gone. Long gone are the days when your grandmother your mother, your father, everyone telling you, PNM is it, PNM is it. Those days are no longer because if PNM is it, you would have been wonder be walking on those sort of road. Just yesterday, a guy coming through Caparo, was a dig a hole in the road, and what happened? The man lost his tire, and these are what we face with. So you have an important task on the 14th of August to make sure. And I mean make sure, come out in droves, come out to vote for the United National Congress and every one of your local government candidate. Do not sit home and say they have this to do and that to do. Now is the time. Now is the time that you must stick together to get rid of this evil. The evil didn't start yesterday, it started eight years ago. This government means nothing to everybody, just like candidate Sharon Abadal said people have to be begging to buy books their own people Twiggy telling them who suffering your own people we cannot let this happen to our people now is the time to get rid of them come out solidly and vote for the United National Congress and every candidate in this local government life. ladies and gentlemen thank you it's time for win to build a better TNT Come on. It's time for we To vote for the UN shit So let me tell them August 14 vote for you Thank you, thank you John And I know you will return to the Kuva Tabaki Talparo Regional Corporation Let's give it up for him once more I know we are a disciplined people And when we hear announcements such as this We act, act very quickly Will the driver of PEA 882, you are blocking someone together with PDS 656358. Please. Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, I want to recognize our chairman, member of parliament for Tabakit, Ms. Adita Haynes. Welcome. Let's give her a round of applause. Uh, Henry Awang, you okay? Ladies and gentlemen, as we continue from one winning candidate to our next winning candidate, Hailing from Freeport, Czechland, one of the loyalists 
of, of the Kuva Tabaki Talpa Regional Corporation, a man who sacrificed himself for his constituents and his voices, closely working with a member of parliament for County Central. Let's welcome Anil Baliram. It's time for win. To build a better TNT. Come on. It's time for win. To vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 4th. Thank you, Chairman. All protocols observe. And a special good night to honor our political leader and the best prime minister this country has ever seen, Mrs. Kamla Pasad Bisesa. My name is Arnold Baliram, the UNC winning candidate for the electoral district of Freeport, Checkland. My brothers and sisters, so we are hearing that this PNM government is preaching local government reform. But the only reform that they we know about is to reform the PNM out of office and insist UNNC into office. My brothers and sisters, now the PNM government is claiming that they cares about this country. But I want to ask you all and ask them, in 2010, under the Kamala Pasad Bissessel government, Priscel Government Primary School started to be constructed in 2015 when the PNM government take office the Prisal government primary school was abandoned and the children has to be in a community center at Ben Prisal and this government is saying that they care about this country and cares about the young in this um, so my brothers and sisters this PNM government, and I heard that the minister and prime minister saying local government reform will give it responsibility to reform and rebuild primary schools. But let us not be bare fool, because that will never happen under the PNM government. It will be only the ministers have control. And I want to send a strong message to you all after Monday the 14th. When the Kuva Tabaki Talpa Regional Corporation captured all 15 electoral districts in the Kuva Tabaki Talpa Regional Corporation, I want to ask you will you see all them PNM ministers who are in Kuva right now go and walking about and saying that they are heroes? Where they were? Where were um, Al Wari when the people were suffering under bad roads and flood? Mr. Alwari was nowhere to be found, but today he want to come here and say um, local government reform will fix the problem. We are saying no to the PNM government and we are send a strong message on August the 15th. And I wanted to say every part of my electoral district I walk, the Burgesses are suffering for a basic facility of water. Under the UNC-led government, the Freeport Chickland Electoral District had water for three to four days per week. Today, my Burgesses are suffering 14 days and counting, and they are not seeing water. And we are saying, enough is enough. And on Monday, the 14th, we will send the signal to this country and vote the United National Congress and return the Kuba Tabaki Talpa Regional Corporation. I thank you. It's time for we to build a better TNT. Come on. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. Oh, you take the PNM have candidates as our caliber of speakers? No way. You're brilliant. They're veterans. Some of them newcomers, but they are sounding like veterans today. Let's give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. A candidate who is going to make history in the Kuva Tabaki Talpa Regional Corporation. The new seat, the 15th seat that was established by the government, thinking that they're going to win a seat, a PLM seat in the corporation. But this woman here is going to make history and bring home that seat safely for the United National Congress. Let's welcome Vanessa Kusi to Kuva West. Ray Stodia! It's time for we to build a better TNT. Come on! It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 14, vote, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your family. August 14, vote, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your country. 
political leaders and best Prime Minister of this country has ever seen. Honorable Kamala Prasad Bisesa, distinguished MPs and senators, fellow candidates, and the beautiful people of Trinidad and Tobago. My name is Vanessa Kusi, and I am carrying the banner of Coover West Westonia. I say good night to you. <laughs> good night. The big question is why I have decided to throw my hat on this race. I have grown up, see I have grown up seeing my uncle in public service and know firsthand the responsibilities that came with the local government office. I hail from Perseverance Village, a once peaceful and loving community, now riddled with crime, bad roads, and unkept drains. Because of our poor allocations from central government. I know the problem we face on a daily basis, and I will work with you to ensure your quality of public, sorry, of life improvements. I've walked the entire district, meeting members of the community, interacting with businesses and other stakeholders. I've heard your concerns, and I assure you I will work to seek your interests and improve your quality of life. However, before we move into the future, I'd like to speak on my past tonight. The tragedy I experienced, which made international headlines and touched the entire world, but not this wicked PNM. Despite the events at Paria, a state-owned company the PNM has showed no empathy or consideration for the families of the victims. Not even as little as a phone call was received by the families of these divers from this cruel PNM government. This government issued a public statement of condolences while the divers were sucked into the pipeline alive. Yes, they were alive. This uncaring government, before trying to rescue these divers, claimed they were dead and issued a public statement of condolences. However, the autopsy shows that these divers were alive for up to three whole days into the 30-inch pipeline after he issued that statement. He owes the divers' family an apology using that statement. Each one of our husbands were alive and begging to be rescued, pounding the pipeline, only for Paria to ignore their cries. Rescue divers were standby only to have guns pointed at their heads by the Coast Guards. They stopped the rescue from happening and they stopped my husband from returning home to his family. They took away our breadwinners, our support system and broke our families. How can a parent watch her child put his little chair at our gate each day up till now, waiting for his father to return home? Can you imagine baby Nashik asking me, Mommy, when is daddy coming home? How can you live with that? Keith Rowley, how can you live with that? Stuart Young, you came there with no knowledge of what was happening. You came there completely unaware of even the depths of the pipeline, having to ask Mr. Muhammad and Mr. Piper what was happening. Clueless. The reason I'm here standing is because I saw an opportunity with the United National Congress to be the voice of our husbands. The Honorable Kamala Prasad Bisesa came with her team at my home upon hearing the news. She held me. She cried with me, she embraced me, and I felt her compassion, her understanding, and her love. It was then and there I realized who Kamala Prasad Bisesa was and what the United National Congress stood for. I 
I stand my ground with the United National Congress on August 14th. Allow me, Vanessa Kusi, to secure Coover West Roystonia and to provide a voice for the voiceless. Thank you. It's time for we to be a better to young team. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them, August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your family. August 14, vote for UNC. Vanessa Kusi, indeed a strong, strong person. Strong candidate, and I know, and we all know that you will bring it home for the rising sun, the United National Congress. Our next winning candidate, ladies and gentlemen, coming from the electoral district of St. Mary's, Calcutta, Castlefield, St. Mary's, St. Mary's, Castlefield. Le but what is this? Let's put our hands together as we wish him. Tisha and Marvin. It's time for we to be a better to young team. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them, August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your family. August 14, vote for you. Political leader of our great party, the Honorable Kamala Pasad Bisesa, members of parliament, my colleagues, and the winning candidates at the polls this coming Monday, the UNC candidates and your next council of the Kuva Tabakitalpa Regional Corporation. My colleagues, make some noise. The media present and you, the soldiers of our great party, Sitaram, Assalamu Alaikum, good evening. I am Vishan Mohammed your UNC candidate for the electoral district of St. Mary's Castlefield. I am proud to be an ambassador of our party. I prize myself as a product and true manifestation of the vision of my political leader of engaging youth and providing a platform to gain experience in creating future leaders of our party and of our country. My My, my, leader, my leader in 2016 believed in me as a young man at the age of 22 with a burning passion to serve and she provided the opportunity for me to start my political career as the local representative for the electoral district of St. Mary's Carsonfield. And today I stand here once more as your candidate ready and equipped to serve the people, serve the people and serve the people. My brothers and sisters, this election, this election on Monday is no ordinary election. This election is one of the most important elections for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. This election is where we as a people must stand our ground and let the incompetent and wicked PNM government know that enough is enough. We must stand, we must stand our ground and sound the alarm that we are fed up of the blatant geographic discrimination of the PNM government to the people of the Kuva Tabaki Talparo region. We must stand our ground and send a message that we the people of Trinidad and Tobago feels unsafe under the PNM. On Monday, on Monday the 14th of August 2023, I urge you to come out in your numbers and support me as your candidate for St. Mary's Carsonfield. I ask you to come out and in your numbers and support all our candidates throughout Trinidad and Tobago and send that message to the PNM that the momentum is building. Our leader is strong. Our party is strong. Our partners are strong. And we are ready to take control of the Kuva Tabaki Talparo Regional Corporation and the 13 regions being contested this coming Monday. My brothers and sisters, I want to take a moment and speak to my Burgesses of St. Mary's Carsonfield. My Burgesses, I am a son of the soil. I was born and bred in the community of Orangefield. I attended the Orangefield Hindu School and then went on to Presentation College Shagonas. I possess a certificate of applied engineering from the University of Trinidad and Tobago and also a level six association of business executives 
from CTS College and I am currently pursuing my LLB from the University of London. Today I come before you as your humble servant asking for your support. I am asking you to empower me to continue to represent you. I am here to serve you to the best of my ability, to secure you, to secure your family, to secure our schools and to secure our communities. I am Vishan Mohammed. I am UNC. I am proud. I am performance driven and I am results oriented. Long live our political leader, the Honorable Kamla Pasad Sessa. Long live our great party, the United National Congress. Ye on August 14th, yellow is the code. Say it with me. Yellow is the code. Yellow is the code. Thank you very much. It's time for win. To be a better to your team. It's time for win. To vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 14th. You can freely let the city in the air. You can feel the vibration of winning this local elections. All 15 candidates of the TTTRC will be returning back into that office. Let's put our hands together. Next speaker, ladies and gentlemen. Our next speaker, and she will co-chair with me after she make a presentation. A strong representative of Claxton and Point Appear. A very challenging area to represent, but she has done it, and she has done it gracefully. Let's put our hands together as we welcome Shahida, Nadia, Khan, Marvin. It's time for win. To build a better to young team. Come on. It's time for win. To vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 14, vote for UNC. Honorable political leader, Mrs. Kamla Pasad Bissessa. Members of parliament, fellow candidates, UNC family. A beautiful welcome to the region of Kuva Tabaki Talparo. And on the night of August 14th, it will look much more beautiful when all, all, all 15 electoral districts will be won by the United National Congress. I am Shazida Nadia Khan Mohammed, your UNC candidate for the electoral district of Claxton Bay Point Appear. And I am also the next councillor for Claxton Bay Point Appear. After I light up the PM at the polls, not a single TD for them. It's light up for them in the east, light up for them in the west, light up for them in the north, and light up for them in the south. Claxton Bay Point Appear, you know. All of a sudden, this uncaring, unpatriot, biased government know where Claxton Bay Point Appear is. It's like they were asleep and now they come out to feed. Over the last eight years, they didn't know us when we were begging to have our roads paved and water courses clean. They didn't know us when we were begging for a regular supply of water. And they certainly didn't know us, Mr. Coban, when they decided to close down Petrotrin, the bread and butter for many of the burgesses in Claxton Bay Point Appear. But now they're here in Claxton Bay Point Appear, pretending to care and parading around with their empty promises like they're fooling somebody. All of a sudden, Claxton Bay Point Appear surface on the map of Trinidad. Look, Rowley boy, gone from here with your petty election gimmicks. We, the people of Claxton Bay Point Appear, will no longer allow you to use us as pawns. On August 14th, we will stand our ground. The UNC is in town to stay, and stay we shall. The people of Trinidad and Tobago deserves a caring government, a government who attends to their needs and ensure they are safe and secure. A government who implements social programs to the needy and focuses on the growth and development of their people. What I want to say in, in short is the people need a government like what we had in 2010 to 2015 under the astute leadership of the Honorable Kamla Pasadi Sasa, the best Prime Minister this country ever had. But stand your ground, ladies and gentlemen. Don't despair. 2025 will soon come. We will light them up at the polls then, as we will do on August 14th. 
We must never forget the stress this PNM government put us through for the past eight years. One of the many things they did to us is to increase gas prices six times over a seven-year period. Yes, brothers and sisters, you heard me right, six times. I'm sure many of you here tonight could say how these increases affected your income, and in some cases, no income. You think this affected the PNM? I will answer for them. Nah. Imbert said the country has no money to continue the subsidy, so they wean we off it. Okay, Imbert, now you have the extra money. Why we still have issues with our healthcare system? Why our infrastructure still falling down? Why are the UNC Health Corporations being starved for resources? Hey, Imbert, don't tell me when you wean we off the subsidy, you use it to renovate Skinner Park for $131 million. Hey, Imbert, that's what you do? But don't worry, so you're short, so is the length of the rope, and so is your stay in government. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the time to act is now. We have been asking for this election. Our leader heard our cries, and she ensured our democratic right was protected. Now is our turn to exercise this right and act by coming out and voting on August 14th. Come out and place your ex next to the rising sun. Come out and begin the reign of the United National Congress once again in our beloved nation. Come out and send Rowley and his bunch of jokers back to reality. Come out and let's begin this transformation once again. Let's take back our country and return it to the paradise it once was. Come out and vote on August 14 for me, Shazira Nadia Khan Mohammed, the woman who will represent you continuously without fear or favor. I thank you and God bless. It's the Arima. It's the people of Arima. Thursday night, it's your turn. Kamla Prasad Bisetta, the UNC and the NTA are coming to Arima New Government School alongside Kamla Prasad Bisetta, Captain Gary Griffith will be none other than Austin Jack Warner and all of your candidates for the Arima Borough Corporation. August 14th, vote UNC, vote NTA, secure your future, stand your ground. This election, real election, come out, all are invited, Arima New Government School, Thursday night, Thursday night Arima, 7 p.m. Be there, both UNC and NPA. Thank you very much, Chairman. Honorable political leader, Mrs. Kamala Passad Bisessa, Deputy political leader, the Honorable Dr. Rudal Munilal, Member of Parliament for Barataria, the Honorable Saddam Hussein, Member of Parliament for Tabakit, the Honorable Anita Haynes, Member of Parliament for Karani Central, the Honorable Anal Ram, Member of Parliament for Kuva South, the Honorable Rudranath in Nursing, Member of Parliament and my MP for Kuva North, the Honorable Ravi Ratiram. All the winning candidates of the Kuva Tabaki Talpar Regional Corporation, members of the media, my Burgesses of Perseverance Waterloo, brothers and sisters of the United National Congress, good night to one and all. I am Dubraj Prasad, your next councillor for the Electoral District of Perseverance Waterloo. Tonight, I want to emphasize the crucial role of this upcoming local government elections 2023 and how important it is for you to cast your vote in support for the United National Congress. Our nation's security and prosperity is at stake and your vote can make a significant difference in making Trinidad and Tobago a more secure place again. After eight years of this uncaring PNM Rowley regime, they have only been able to dismantle, discriminate, and deflect. We have seen blatant discrimination, 
So many issues facing our nation and the region of Kuva Tabaki Talparu. Crime, crime is at an all time high. Our people are afraid, they are scared. The Minister of National Security, Fitzgerald Hines, he does not have a clue what to do. Just imagine. One would think Rowley would move one minister of national security, Spalpin, Twiddle D, and put Twiddle Dum. I would like to ask the Minister of Works and Transport, the Honorable Rohan Sinanan, what have you done for the people of Perseverance Waterloo? Every time there's a huge amount of rainfall, the places like Limehead Road, Chandananago, and Korea Village are flooded out. I have been singing the same song, the same song for many years, and Taxi and Chairman is not Gunga Ghana, no. I've not, the same song I've been singing is that continue the retaining wall on the Diana River, continue the retaining wall on the Diana River, heading west. You know, we have not seen no roads done by the Ministry of Works and Transport. Mr. Rohan Sinanan, have you ever driven down the road from Orangeville to Waterloo? It's in a deplorable condi condition. The road from Perseverance to Shigonas, and that is Ministry of Works. Total discrimination, blatant discrimination. Don't talk about the Minister of Rural Development and Local Government, Faris Alwari. Talk is cheap, Mr. Alrawi. Chairman Awong would tell you about how we at CTTRC have suffered for non-releases of funds to do basic necessities of our purchases. And the clear discrimination in terms of the allocation that is awarded to our corporation. Our corporation, the Kuva Tabaki Talpa Regional Corporation, is one of the largest corporations in Trinidad compared to some of the Chikichong PNM run corporations again i say to you blatant discrimination and now they have the audacity to come to us to talk about reform tonight i say to you and the pnm and to dr keith christopher rowley the only reform that we want to hear about is for you to reform the minister of national security fitzgerald clueless hines Reform the Minister of Works and Transport, the Honorable Rohan Incompetent Sinanan. Reform the local government minister, Mr. Faris Mamadai Alrawi. Reform your entire band of mitzvets, starting with you, Dr. Keith Christopher Karawli. Come August 14th, the voice of the people will be heard with the power of your finger. Victory will be for the United National Congress as we start our journey back to the corridors of government and at the helm with our leader, the Honorable Kamala Prasad Bisesa, the best Prime Minister that we have ever had and the next Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. I say to you, my brothers and sisters, I say to you, my UNC family, onwards to victory, secure our nation, stand your ground, yellow is the code, don't vote, vote, I thank you. Let's hear it again for singing councillor and this 15 candidates of Kuva Tabaki Talparo Regional Corporation will be the one to sing out the PNM from government. It brings me great pleasure to bring on the next winning candidate for Kuva East Balmain, an incumbent, incumbent councillor and candidate for the last three terms. A strong and dynamic woman, Miss Ali Solomon Ramesa. It's time for we to build a better city and It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them, August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your family. August 14, vote for UNC. Thank you, thank you, my colleague. The next winning candidate for Claxame Point of Pair, Shazida Khan Mohammed. A special good night to each and everyone, my UNC family. Isn't it a happy moment to be here tonight? Let me hear you. <laughs> special good night to Honorable Political Leader Kamala Prasad Bisesa, to our Member of Parliament who are present here tonight. 
for our member of parliament for Cameron County Central, Arnold Ram, for Taba Keat, our member of parliament, our beautiful Anita Haynes. Once more, our reigning person for member of parliament for Cuba North, in the name of Ravi Rati Ram. And our host for the night, a member of parliament for Cuba South, the Honorable Bujanath Indar Singh. And we have a visitor in the house, but no stranger to us, member of parliament for Sawa, Barataria Sawa, in the name of Saddam Hussein. Thank you. So, to all members here, come August the 14th, I will be one of the 15th winning candidates for the Cuba Tabakita Power Regional Corporation. My colleagues have said we have all been starved for funding, but I want to say something. This is the only time during our dry spell, I should say, although we have it in the rainy season, I see a set of crap will come out. A set of political crap, and let me say it. I have seen Kumkaran wake up from 2017 in the name of Rohan Senanan. He couldn't find himself no other time in Cuba South or come there in the district where I fall under, but just recently. Total waste of time. That's just one of the crapo. Well, last Sunday, I'll, I'll name them here tonight. You know why? Where were they? They're now smelling the coffee. Too late. Too late for them to come out now. It's a total waste of time. Last week, Sunday, when you call the Minister of National Security, when you go to the police, you can't get a vehicle. So much home invasions in all of our districts. Persons being beaten and robbed, crimes and rampant all over. But you can get the minister them. I don't want to say Stuart Little is this, right? Stuart Little. So come outside. Ride with a motorcade. But a non-entity. Right? That is something should not happen in this country. We're not paying for that. Furthermore, today of all times, we're not being, we are debarred from using the Atobolan Stadium some years now. Excuse after excuse after that all our budgets are suffering. Wiggy, Shampa Kojo could find herself there today as well today. That's another political crapple. So at this point in time, we don't want no political vagrants to come and ramp on our campaign. We can fight it. We, we can stand our ground. And we can stand alone. We don't need nobody to come on our campaign to feel and be, make anybody threaten. So come over the 14th. I it's want us to continue. Go there. It's time for Do win. your thing. Go to UNC. It's time Go for win. Change. Stand your ground. It's time for win. To build a better T and T. Come on. It's time for win. That is the Taliban woman. We have under the United National Congress. So, I want to bring on, to bring a few words of greetings, a gentleman who wears many hats. He's the first chairman of Kuva Tabaki Talpora Regional Corporation. DP also served as president of the Kuva Point Lisa's Chambers and a cultural icon as well for many years. Let us hear it for the next winning candidate for Savaneta Point Lisa's, Ranchan Raj Balmaraj. It's time for win. Thank you, thank you ladies and gentlemen. I just want one minute to let you know that PNM had won the seat in California Point Lisas. And after two licking by your humble servant, they changed the name. But whether whatever name they put, they're still going to get licks. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank my campaign team. Those of you on the live stream and you haven't know who is your candidate, I am. There is no other. There is political rap up on the other side. So vote UNC. Vote Rapchal Raj Balmaraj. Your winning candidate. Thank you. It's time for win. To build a better team. Come on. Yes, it's time for Raj win. motto is Raj is the man. Our next speaker is a young, dynamic individual. Someone who I am proud to say is my colleague and served as my batch for the last three terms. He is young, dynamic, and vice chairman of the Kuvata Baki Talparo Regional Corporation and winning candidate for Longdeville Talparo, Ryan Rampasad. It's time for win. To build a better Come on. It's time for win. To vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. Thank you, thank you very much, Nadia. 
our honorable political leader and our next Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Mrs. Kamala Passat Bissessa, all our members of Parliament here, members of Natex, and most importantly, our candidates who are here with their supporters. Pleasant good afternoon to each and every one of you. I heard my colleague, Councillor Arlene, former Councillor Arlene, speak about political crap all over the place. Where I live, we just throw salt on them and deal with them. So, Arlene, organize yourself. I, I walked in the Arimo Borough Corporation just about two weeks ago. And I was amazed to see one electoral district where I walked. The electorate there is just 3,000 persons. Just 3,000. And I want to make a comparison because my colleagues here have at least 10,000 people that they have to serve. 10,000 people. And we have less than half of the allocation that Arima Borough would get. And the PNM wants to speak about reform. I want to tell them if, they want to, if, they, if, if they're serious about reform, let's look at the size of Kuva Tabaki. Let's look at the size of Kuva Tabaki. We serve 178,000 people. This should ideally be two to three regional corporations. But they will not do that because local government is a numbers game. Right now we are seven, they are seven. They want to speak about reform. We are speaking about standing your ground, national security issues. And the, 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 the embarrassing thing is that you have the worst national minister of national security ever to have served this country. We have had many, many calls, many motions of no confidence in this gentleman. And he's resolute there, he's safe there. If you were to have a race for the worst Minister of National Security, he would come first, second and third. In fact, in fact, I take back that. Because he's so lazy, he just sleep away standing up behind a microphone, so he might even run the race. My colleague, Councillor John Lezama, indicated a bit earlier that he's going to win by a landslide in his area. Councillor John Lezama got three polling divisions from my electoral district, so his area is bigger now and mine is a bit smaller. Now when he said that, he said that, and he really meant it because on election night, no matter where he is standing within Kaparu Mamoral at 6 o'clock, he would win by a landslide because he has landslide in Tabakit, landslide in, Ta in Kaparu, landslide in Mondonevo, landslide all over. Ladies and gentlemen, our time is very limited. I want to thank you all for this opportunity here this afternoon. And to our winning candidates at Kuva Tabakit Alpa Regional Corporation, I am excited to be back with you all. And I am excited for our 15th candidate, Vanessa Kusi, who's going to be taking the Kuva West Roystonia seat. I'm excited to be serving with you. Let's put it up together for all our candidates. Thank you very much. It's time for win. To be a better to young team. It's time for win. To vote for the UN seat. So let me tell you. Powerhouse, powerhouse. Ladies and gentlemen, as we moving fast with time, and a lot of battery of speakers still come, our next speaker, no need, no long introduction. As a matter of fact, they call him the Rasta. They can't be the Rasta at all. In Kuva, Tabaki, Talpa, Helen from San Pepe, Paro, San Pedro. Let's put our hands together for Chairman Henry Awang. It's time for win. To build a better to young team. Come on. It's time for win. To vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your family. The Honorable Political Leader, Kamala Pesad Bisesa, Members of Parliament, my colleagues, candidate colleagues, to you, the, my UNC family, pleasant good evening. I had a nice little speech compiled by the Talma, I had a cut down on my time, so I came up with just one page that scribbled on the back. I just want to tell you that local government deals with the everyday needs of the everyday man. When you get up in the morning, you want to know your, your sidewalks clean, the garbage collected, your play parks well cut and maintained, cemeteries well cut, etc. PNM campaigning for the longest while for the past three elections on local government reform, 2016, 2019, and today in 2023 as well. They are campaigning on local government reform. But they are saying one thing and apparently practicing a different thing. So just quickly, as just a couple of minutes I have, I will tell you what I, what I meant by that. 
One of, the, one of the most problems we have in this region is roads and the conditions of our roads. The Minister, and the, and the Minister of Finance said that he, he placed or he allocated $200 million for the Ministry of Rural Development to assist in the, in the upgrade of secondary roads. $200 million. You know what? They take that $200 million from the Ministry of Rural Development and local government and give it to the Minister of Works and Transport to campaign in these elections. That is what they're using that 200 million for, to campaign in these elections. The other thing quickly, what they did, and they're showing that they care about the people. In this present fiscal year, 22, 2023, they gave us no funding in the regional corporation to repair recreation grounds for the people. In this area, we have 104 recreation grounds. 104 recreation grounds. 44 of those grounds, people play Premier League cricket. They gave us no funding to purchase material, no funding to hire or rent of equipment to fix the ground for people. But yet you're speaking about local government reform, as such, and you care about local government reform. I heard the Prime Minister last night speaking somewhere, speaking to himself somewhere, saying that they allocate resources based on the size of the cooperation and the, and the, the dynamics of the cooperation. That's a total lie. Kuba Tabaki Talparo is the second largest corporation in Trinidad with regards to population and, and land mass. Second largest corporation, and we get the lowest allocation based on, based on our population. The lowest. So, brothers and sisters, they put a woman up by me to fight me in my electoral district, a teacher, a retired teacher. I want to tell you, on the 14th of August, I will teach that teacher a lesson in politics. I will teach that teacher a lesson. The cocktail book. The cocktail book. The Paros and Pedro Tabakit. Go on clear. Today we walk in a particular, particular road, Quarry Road in Tabakit. A nice mixed community. And there's just love for the UNC in that area. They say the code is yellow. The code is yellow. You understand? So we, we go on clear in Paros and Pedro Tabakit. We're ready for them. Stand your ground. It's about your future. It's about your children's future. It's about our nation as a people. We have a beautiful nation, you know. Well, the problem is, we have a government that doesn't care about the people. That's the problem, really. But under Kamala Prasad in 2025, we're taking back central government. We're taking local government. We're taking all the black state corporation under this government. Thank you very much. It's time for win. To build a better GNT. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. UNC family, let us hear it. Let us give a last round of applause for the 15 winning candidates <coughs> of the Kuba Tabu Digital Paro Regional Corporation. Now, it gives me great pleasure to bring up an esteemed member of parliament to tell us more about his clueless, careless, selfish PNM jokers that call themselves our government. Let us welcome, to give us greetings, the member of parliament for Karani Central, an attorney at law and champion of the people's rights, MP Arnold Ram. It's time for we to build a better Come on. It's time for we to vote for the UNC So let me tell them Oh God, 14 vote, vote for UNC That's the way to secure your family UNC family Make some noise if you're going to light them up on August 14 Are you ready to stand your ground and to push back on the 14th of August? Thank you Madam Chair for that wonderful introduction our political leader or the political leaders, senators, colleagues on the platform, the 15 winning candidates in the Kuva Tabaki Tabak Talparo Regional Corporation. Ladies and gentlemen, I say plus one good evening to you. It's not very often, it's not very often that we get the opportunity to pay uh, our homage to our party loyalists and activists who have given their sweat and blood to this party to fight and given us strength to fight this wicked, this invictive, this harsh and oppressive PNM government. Right in Karani Central, please allow me to call and to recognize a couple of those who have stood the test of time and who epitomizes a true UNC soldier 
I want to recognize Patricia, Anisha, Solomon, Vicky, Chandra, Rajendra, Judy, Sharon, Itwarya, Radha, Himraj, Narayan, and Dolores. Those are our stalwarts in the constituency of Karani Central. But I want to also tell you about a very troubling issue right on the border between Karani Central and Tabakit. Two years ago, the Ministry of National Security told us that they want to move the Brasso Police Station and, and the operations there, mind you, built by the UNC government in 2013 2014, move the operations to the Grand Coover Police Station. And they are telling us, even though the, the traversing time with the bad roads was about approximately 50 minutes, that they would better serve the community of Brasso and as of Grand Coover and so forth. They had, they took, they had us in a community center, I think it was in Brasso, and Pianita Hines was there, Councillor. Chairman Awang was there, and they said they wanted to put the child protection unit at the Grand Coover Police Station. Now, you know, this police station was built by the UNC, so it, it is a modern state-of-the-art facility which houses different uh, categories of persons who are alleged to commit different crimes and so forth. But you know what they did just this month? They have disbanded the child protection unit from the Brasso police station. The most vulnerable children, when you go there to make a report, they're sending you, they're sending you to Port of Spain. So that is what this government has done. So I have a couple questions for the Commissioner of Police and the Minister of National Security. Why have you moved the child protection unit from the Brasso police station? What is the status of the Brasso police station? Does it remain closed? And can we, as citizens and burgesses, access the, the Brasso police station? On another point, the whole of the PNM and their bandwagon, they are attacking anti cams for the saying, empty the clip. The whole of the PNM attacking her for telling people to defend themselves because this PNM government has refused to protect the citizens of this country. But you know, just recently, about two months ago, a so-called PNM activist went on a video rampage telling supporters of the PNM to jump citizens' gate and to attack citizens. Attack us, that is what, and to take what we have. But I want to tell the PNM something. The constitution of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago is the supreme law of the land. All laws must be conformed with, unless the majority of par in parliament stay otherwise. Section 4A of our constitution, ladies and gentlemen, guarantees us the citizens' certain rights, and these rights are known as the first amongst equal. It is a right to life, to liberty, to security of person, and to enjoyment of property. Let me repeat that. The first right, and probably the most important right, guaranteed every citizen of this country the right to liberty, to security of person, to enjoyment of property, and we citizens must not, be, must not be deprived of these rights except by due process of law. Fellow citizens, I want you to understand the right to security of person and the right to enjoyment of property according to the supreme law of our land is equal to the right of life and liberty. In other words, the right to enjoyment of your home is <coughs> home in peace is equal to the right to your life. It is clear that the PNM has failed to protect the constitutionally guaranteed rights of our citizens in this country. Even your eyes and head, even if it's full with Balizia juice, you can say that they have failed in their, in their duty. They have abdicated their responsibility to the citizens of this country. Imagine just this Monday, I read in an article as far as Taiwan, people were talking about the the out of crime control, the out of cr control crime in Trinidad and Tobago. Back to our laws, the Firearm Act allows for citizens, private citizens, to carry firearms. We are allowed to bear arms legally once we are issued with a firearm user's license. So I stand with my political leader when we say, stand your ground. And remember, remember, when they breach the law, we have plenty bright attorneys and plenty activists in the UNC who's willing to make and to take them a task. 
Just look at this local government elections that we are fighting now. It is because they breached the constitution that we are having elections. Your roads wouldn't be paved now if the UNC didn't go all the way to the Privy Council and get the date uh, of elections on August 14. So I want to tell you, take the roads, take all the drainage, take everything, but vote them out on August 14. Protest, protest with your index finger, brothers and sisters. Long live the United National Congress. Long live the honorable political leader. For whatever, back whatever, never. I can't. It's time for we to build a better city. Come on, it's time for we. And he and all round, ladies and gentlemen, and he's quite right. Said the PNM have failed, and they have failed on all accounts. Now, our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, and a finer woman you would never see on the other side. Shadow Minister of Education. Let's put our hands together and bring the dynamic Anita Haynes to address us. It's time for we to build a better city and Come on! It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 14, vote, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your family. August 14, vote for you. Good night, Kuva Tabakital Power. How are you feeling tonight? Yeah. Are, you, are you looking good too? Are you looking good too? Colleagues, the Honorable Political Leader, and to the 15 winning candidates, I am here to congratulate you already because this is our winning UNC seat. I could feel the energy. So I'm joining you all here tonight. I'm in my walkabout clothes because we came from Arima. Ryan spoke about walking in Arima. I joined the team in Arima today. Some of our other parliamentary colleagues joined the team in Arima. And what is interesting, we expect this turnout in Kuva Tabakital Power. We expect this energy in Kuva Tabakital Power. But today, in Arima, they were saying, yellow is the code. In Arima, they were saying, yellow is the code. We started our walk two minutes away from the constituency office of the Member of Parliament for Arima. Two minutes away. Everybody, the energy was there, we were walking about. And imagine a lady said to us, she said to the candidate Jazzy, she said, you know, the only thing I need right now is a house. And they told her to, if she could get a letter from the member of parliament, she could probably get the house. This is about two years now. So I stopped her, I said, but wait, your member of parliament was the minister of housing until they move her. How are you asking us in opposition to help you get a house when your member of parliament was the minister? And if that is the injustice they could do in seats they have, what do you expect in the seats they do not hold? What do you expect in the seats they do not hold? We are in a local government election and we are working about the state, the state in Arima. This is a corporation that gets money. This is a corporation that contro is controlled by the central government. This is a corporation where their former head sits in parliament with us. She barely speaks. She is a shadow and she's a deputy minister of education. And people in this area are asking us if we could come up and do a school, a book drive. Because they need books for their children to go to school. And instead of walking about in Arima, the PNM passing around with a music truck. They are driving around with a music truck and the residents there told me today is because they cannot come and walk here because nobody wants to see them. Nobody wants to see them in a remark. And so my message here in Kuva is simple. We have had a long campaign. We have had a great campaign. We have stood our ground and we are standing tall and proud as the United National Congress. And come Monday, August 14th, while we show we win in Vancouver, look out in San Fernando, look out in Arima and Grandy coming back home too. And so, as I say to you tonight, this is the home, the heart of the UNC. We depend on you, we count on you to turn up early, turn up sure on August 14th. And as Arima said today, yellow is the code. Forever United National Congress. Thank you very much. It's time for win. To build a better and team. And Come on. Is. It's time that for is our next Minister of Education. Our next speaker. 
policy portfolio of party organizer in the United National Congress and the Shadow Minister of Agriculture. Let us welcome the dynamic and fearless member of parliament for Kuva North, Ravi Ratiram. It's time for we to be a better to young It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Chairperson, for that kind and warm introduction. My brothers and sisters, uh, political leader and the next Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, the Honorable Kamla Prasad Bisesa. My colleagues on the platform tonight, uh, candidates of the Kuva Tabakital Power Regional Corporation, who are going to bring home victory in all 15 electoral districts. Let's make some noise for them. <laughs> Members of the media, my brothers and sisters who are joining us on the live broadcast, uh, and all of you who are gathered here in this uh, sea of yellow overflowing. Uh, I see hundreds, I see thousands of you in your numbers. Uh, a pleasant good night, brothers and sisters. Tonight, uh, I stand before you to shed some light uh, on the broken promises uh, of the Rowley PNM government. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, I want to take this opportunity tonight uh, to emphasize uh, why this Rowley PNM government uh, cannot be trusted, as I recognize uh, the president of the Point of Pierre branch, uh, Comrade. Uh, Comrade Jackman and the colleagues from OWTU is here with us tonight. They are testimony why the Rowley PNM cannot be trusted, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, as citizens, we have the right to hold our leaders accountable and demand transparency and integrity in their actions. Unfortunately, the PNM has repeatedly failed to fulfill their commitments, eroding the trust of our citizens, the trust that citizens placed in the political offices that they occupy. Brothers and sisters, just last night, the Rowley PNM held a meeting in Sangre Grande to continue the attempt to mislead, to fool, to hoodwink the citizens of this country. In Rowley's opening remarks, he attempted to emphasize the importance of elections. But I want to ask Dr. Rowley tonight uh, if he didn't recognize this last year when he attempted to postpone the local government election by one year, brothers and sisters. Uh, and MP Arnold Ram told you, I want to refer to a Loop TT article of November the 4th last year. Opposition leader Kamla Pasad Bisesa is accusing Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley of running scared and called on government to announce the next local government election. Since last year, they were running scared, brothers and sisters. And was it not for our leader, for Anand Ram Logan, for Ravi Balgobin Maraj and the team that took it all the way to the Privy Council, we would not have that opportunity to express our democratic right on August 14th, brothers and sisters. It is in the PNM DNA to delay local government election. You all remember former Prime Minister Patrick Manning. He denied the citizens their democratic right for almost an entire decade. It was only on the UNC-led government by Mrs. Kamala Pasad Bisesa as our Prime Minister was the local government election finally called in 2010. Rowley, like Mr. Manning, knows that the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago are eagerly awaiting the local government election to show their discontent with this unlawful, corrupt, and incompetent PNM regime and to send a clear message that they want the return of good governance under the leadership of Mrs. Kamla Pasad Bisesa. My brothers and sisters, as this local government campaign comes to an end, the defeat of the PNM draws closer and closer. There is apparently no limit to the amount of lies Keith Rowley will tell in order to deceive the population into voting for his PNM. 
because that is all the PNM knows to do, brothers and sisters. Lie and lie again to the population. And when they can't lie, what they do? They blame everyone else. I looked at a video they presented last night, and in that video, they are trying to blame everyone except themselves as to why local government corporation have not been delivering. They are now trying to blame the workers, the staff, the CEO, and even the permanent secretary in the ministries for the shortcoming of local government. When we all know the workers are very hardworking, the staff are committed and dedicated, the CEOs are experienced and highly qualified persons, and the permanent secretaries are always solution-oriented. Let us give them all a round of applause for their contribution. Councillor Dubraj Prasad told us and Councillor Awang told us uh, this PNM government continued to starve local government for resources. They make one promise at the budget, but then they hold back all the allocation so that the local government bodies cannot deliver, brothers and sisters. Uh, according to one of their candidates, and I think uh, Judas or something is his name, one of the jumping Judases who said it clear, PNM is the problem, and the UNC is the only solution, my brothers and sisters. So, Rowley, Rowley, don't go around blaming corporation staff, CEO, and permanent secretary in the ministries. Blame your own blasted self, Rowley. You and the PNM is the problem in local government. And this is why Rowley must go. Rowley and his incompetent PNM must go on August the 14th, my brothers and sisters. Last night also, Rowley remembered it had something called agricultural access roads. And he attempted to fool the country once more into believing that all of a sudden, as elections is around the corner, he found a new quarry somewhere in Toko, and now they are planning to improve the road infrastructure. You hear lie? That is lie. I want to ask Rowley if he thinks the people of this country were born yesterday. Brothers and sisters, everyone knows that the PNM stands for promises that never materialize. And after election on Monday, all those plans and promises will go out the window and there's going to be more pain and suffering for the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago if they are left in office, and more so for the farmers of this country. Farmers have been suffering from the neglect of the agricultural sector by this uncaring Rowley PNM since they came into office. Last night, Rowley came to give an, an, an acknowledgement of community concerns. He proposed the Minister of Works and Transport along with the Minister of Rural Development and Local Government and the Minister of Public Utilities will address community concerns regarding lights and water. Brothers and sisters, these are the three biggest failures that we have in that Rowley cabinet. Well, of course, not forgetting sleepyhead Hines, who holds the record for the fastest MP to run from his constituents. But brothers and sisters, when we look at our roads infrastructure, it is the worst in the history of Trinidad and Tobago under this Rohan Sinanan. I remember visiting the Ministry of Works and Transport in Central to beg for some road repair works to be done along the Waterloo Main Road, the Perseverance Road, Roystonia, the Exchange Road. Taxi and Dubraj was with me there, brothers and sisters. And the senior officers there started complain. They started to complain to me of the kind of neglect they in the ministry themselves are facing under this failed Rohan Sinanan. Even the maintenance team that performs spot patching, they complain about being short staff. Imagine we have the highest rate of unemployment in this country and they are complaining of being short staff in the ministry. Brothers and sisters, I want to say to you, that on August the 14th, you are going to be called upon to make a very important decision. Do we continue to allow the mismanagement and the failure of this PNM administration to continue? Or do we stand our ground and secure Trinidad and Tobago? I say to you, brothers and sisters, the code is yellow. I call on you to stand your ground on August 14th.
Mount in your numbers. Place your X next to the symbol of the rising sun. And let's be part of that victory, of that wind of change that will blow across Trinidad and Tobago. Long live our political leader, the Honorable Kamala Prasad Bisesa. Long live you, the beautiful people of Trinidad and Tobago. I thank you. It's time for win. To be better to young team. Time for Ladies and gentlemen, we need to call for the fire ambulance, fire brigade, because fire in the house. Real heat here today. As we move on, a young, dynamic, dignified attorney at law. Proper and good representation for the people of Baratara Sawa. Let's put our hands together for the powerful member of parliament, Salam, Salam Hussein. It's time for we to build a better city and team. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them, August 14, vote for UNC. Good evening, UNC family. August 14th, August 14th, yellow is the yellow is the yellow is the. Thank you very much. Good night, our political leader, Kamla Pasad Bisesa of Senior Council, my parliamentary colleagues. All of the winning candidates of the Kuva Tabaki Talpa Regional Corporation. I know Nadia said she welcomes me to Kuva Tabaki Talpa Regional Corporation, but I'm a proud burgess of this very, very hardworking corporation, and I will be casting my vote on Monday, 14th August, for my councillor, Balmati Gosain. Now, I am here tonight, Trinidad and Tobago, to talk to you about some very important matters involving the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Over the past few days, you would have seen that there were some newspaper articles and some press releases going out regarding Keith Rowley and the purchase of a townhouse in Tobago in Inez Gate. Are you all aware of that? And Rowley went on Facebook to say that Kamala Prasad Bisesa and Saddam Hussein lying on him. Now let me give you some background to this matter. Because in 2021, I had raised this matter. And I had caused the right, the Integrity Commission, to make a formal complaint against Keith Rowley. And I asked the Integrity Commission, I have a letter in my hand here. I asked the Integrity Commission to investigate the Prime Minister because he failed to disclose the purchase of that townhouse in his integrity in public life declaration forms. And I also asked them to investigate whether or not Keith Rowley breached the law by receiving a discount of over $480,000 when he purchased that townhouse. You all get me right? Good. So the Integrity Commission launched an investigation into this matter. And when they launched the investigation in this matter, it took them about roughly about almost two years. I have in my hand a copy of a letter dated the 29th of June, 2023, where they have reported to me that they have investigated the Prime Minister. And they have said in this letter, in black and white here, brothers and sisters, and I'm going to read it to you, you know. They say that Dr. Rowley did omit to disclose the purchase of the townhouse in his statement of interest for the year 2019, contrary to Section 14 of the Integrity in Public Life Act. You know what that means? It means Rowley has broken the law. The Integrity Commission found that Rowley has broken the law in this matter. You all remember when Bastille Pandey, they accused him of not disclosing some house somewhere in England. They prosecute Bastille Pandey all over this country. Today, Rowley is, the Integrity Commission is telling Rowley, well, you didn't disclose your townhouse, but we can't do you nothing. They have terminated the investigation into this matter. Is that right, brothers and sisters? That is, an e that is unequal treatment. Why this Bastille Pandey was hauled before the court? He was charged by the police, but today Keith Rowley didn't disclose that he had a townhouse in Tobago. And the Integrity Commission said, well, you already um, have no consequence. You break the law, you know, but we can't do you nothing. That is what these people are doing. And tonight we must say we must light up the Integrity Commission. They must have some integrity. Now, I want to address you on the matter of the gift. I want to address you on the matter of the gift. I told the Integrity Commission that everybody else in that, de that development that have several townhouses, 
they were paying about $1.8 million for their townhouses. But all of a sudden, the Prime Minister, Keith Rowley, he got his townhouse for $1.2 million. He got a, dis a discount of about $480,000. So hear what the Integrity Commission had to say about that. They are saying in the letter, this is what they're saying, eh? Dr. Rowley did receive a gift in the form of a discount as regards the purchase of the townhouse, but he had break no law. The Integrity Commission has reported to me, telling me that Rowley did in fact receive a gift from Alan Warner. You know who is Alan Warner? That's his business partner in Tobago. His personal friend receiving a gift of $480,000 through a discounted townhouse and the Integrity Commission say he had break no law. We're not going to investigate him any further. Enough is enough, Trinidad and Tobago. Enough is enough. We are standing our ground. And that is why Anne and Ram Logan, the, the Freedom Law Chambers, has issued a pre-action protocol letter to the Integrity Commission. Because if we have to take this matter all the way to the Privy Council, we will reach the courthouse in England. So that we will stand on your behalf here. Because Rowley cannot break the law and get away with it. He cannot break the law and get away with it. Now, Rowley, big answer. You know, every night I see him sit down on the grandmother couch all over the country. So I don't know if you are sitting down on somebody's couch and he went on Facebook and he snapped some pictures of his integrity in public life form and he said, well, here now, I disclose everything. You know that picture that he put up yesterday saying that he disclosed everything. You know that picture circulating since December 2021? You know he put up pictures of his form B, right? Do you know that form is a public form? Any one of you all today can go in Port of, Port of Spain at the waterfront and look at Rowley Form B. So he has disclosed nothing to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. So that is why tonight I am calling on Keith Rowley. Let us see the agreement for sale for that townhouse. Let us see all of the checks for that townhouse. That is what we want to see. We already have the form that you disclosed since 21. We now want to see how this transaction take place. How this transaction take place. This same man that he buy the house from, that he get a hefty discount of almost half a million dollars, is a contractor in Tobago, a personal business friend of the Prime Minister, Mr. Alan Warner. So that is what I want to address you on tonight members of the public because you have to know what is taking place in Trinidad and Tobago and here Rowley big excuse eh? he hold up the form B look look I have it here look I have a, a blank one you have the form B here right he said when when he went through this form B it have no place to fill out tongue house but look I on page four here and then here wait say you have to fill out I have beneficial interest in the following land. Where the townhouse? In the cloud? In the sky? The townhouse on the land? Rowley, you have to disclose the townhouse. What kind of foolish excuse is that? But tonight, tonight, members of the public, I know my time is almost an end, but I just want to raise one very, more, one very important matter, and I, I just asked for a couple more minutes. It wouldn't take me very long. Rowley has purchased his townhouse in 2019 for $1.2 million. Do you know in the year, and I'm going to get it for you here now, I have so much deed in my hand, I feel like I'm walking in the red house. Legal affairs. I have a deed in my hand here, dated the 5th of August 2021, between Alan Warner and Sonel Rowley. Now, everybody else paying, as I tell earlier, $1.8, $1.7 million for the house in 2017, 2018, 2019. But in 2021, she has paid $1.2 million for the house. In Trinidad and Tobago, land prices go up, not so. And if all the townhouse sell out any development, the price will also go up. How it is, three years later, she is paying a discounted rate of $1.2 million. Now, let me give you all what is the, let me tell you all what is the worrying thing about this transaction. Do you know who prepared this deed? This deed was prepared by Sharon Clark Rowley. Now, when you're going to, when you're transferring land in Trinidad and Tobago, you have to now pay something called stamp duty. All you know about that? 
So you have to, so even if you're selling land for a dollar, you have to go and get a valuator to give you a valuation. They submit it to the BIR and they will assess the stamp duty on the valuation figure, not the one dollar, you know. Do you know that the values of these townhouses are ranging between $1.8 million? It could very well cross that in 2021. Do you know they value this at $1.2 million? And she paid stamp duty of $10,000 while everybody else was paying about $40,000 in stamp duty. You understand what is going on there? We are now calling on the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, the Anti-Corruption Investigation Bureau, the FIB, the FIU. Everybody investigate this suspicious transaction. This transaction must be investigated. I am calling on Ola Christopher. Wake up. I have a copy of the deed if you want it. I could send it for you. This transaction must be be investigated how everybody else was paying forty thousand dollars in stamp duty and you pay ten thousand dollars how it is everybody townhouse value 1.8 million dollars and yours is how much 1.2 million dollars these are things that we are going to expose in the coming days we are calling on Ola christopher we are calling on Ola christopher to launch an immediate investigation into this particular matter and I know my time is up, brothers and sisters, but I want to wish you all the best on August 14th. We will be telling you more of these issues in the coming days. Long live the United National Congress. Long live Kamala Pasad Bisesa. We will light them up at the polls on August 14th. Stand your grounds and secure Trinidad and Tobago. I thank you very much. It's time for we to build a better TNT. Come on. It's time for we to vote for the UN shit. So let me tell them. Our next speaker served as the former President General and General Secretary of the All Trinidad Sugar and General Trade Union. He continues to be an active member in all labor and trade union activities. He served as the second Vice President of the National Trade and Union Center. He served as a temporary senator, a third term MP, a former minister in the ministries of Works and Transport, Labor, Local Government and Finance and the eco Economy. Let us give a warm welcome to our host for tonight and Member of Parliament for Kuva South, MP Rudranath Nursing. It's time for we to build a better TNT. Come on. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them, August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your Political leader of the United National Congress, my colleagues at the parliamentary level, Kuva Tabaki Talparo Regional Corporation, are you voting or toting on the 14th of August 2023? Tonight, I want to deal with a couple of issues very quickly because uh, as i said uh, the writing is on the wall uh, and we are voting on the 14th of august uh, tonight i want to deal with a prime minister who continues to be shameless who continues to be disrespectful who continues to be disdainful and contemptuous to the people of trinidad and tobago Imagine, imagine this gentleman went to open the Ministry of Health, new headquarters around the Savannah, Monday gone, I think, and he had the audacity to tell the country at the, admin the new administrative building that citizens are ungrateful Rowley telling citizens of this country that they are ungrateful and they must not complain about the healthcare system in Trinidad and Tobago because it is better than most and better than many in Trinidad and Tobago. This is a fella, if he catch a cold or he sneeze, he's seeking medical attention outside of Trinidad and Tobago. You cannot get an appointment 
you cannot get CT scans, you cannot get operations. In fact, the ordinary people of this country, they have been made to get appointments in 2025 and so on. Two and three years, you are waiting. You cannot get open heart surgery. You cannot get angiograms. And Rowley telling you that you are ungrateful because of this, because you want a better healthcare system. So tonight, uh, I want to tell you that you must send a message to him on the 14th of August and I tell you must allow him to know that he is the biggest political Nimakaram in Trinidad and Tobago and that is why you will vote the United National Congress. Rowley cannot continue to bully you, to insult you, to denigrate you and then ask you to vote for him. That is insultive and we in Coover and we in Trinidad throughout the 14 regional corporations will have none of the disrespect of Prime Minister Rowley come Monday the 14th of August. And another issue I want to move on very quickly to because it seems that everything collapsing under Rowley. All you know TSTT collapse again under Marvin Gonzalez, under Lisa Agard today. This was a woman boasting recently that uh, TSTT became profitable because it sent home over 1,500 workers in the last two years. And again, they cannot get it right. Nobody had internet today. Nobody could send WhatsApp messages and operate on social media platforms. Tonight we want to know what was the economic cost to the, the economy of Trinidad and Tobago given that TSTT collapsed under Marvin Gonzalez and Lisa Agard once again. And they come again to buy you out, you know, or attempt to buy you out because every month or every quarter the IT system going down in TSTT. No apology, no free data, but on the eve of the local government elections, Lisa Agar issued a full media release telling you that you have free data up till tonight. And up till tonight, you can't send out any WhatsApp messages, your internet not functioning and we are saying that again another state enterprise has collapsed under Dr. Keith Rowley and we are demanding Marvin Gonzalez, we are demanding Lisa Agard, what is the economic cost of the collapse of TSTT today to the economy of Trinidad and Tobago and who gave you the authority, who gave you this authority Lisa Agard? to issue this media release and say free data to the rest of Trinidad and Tobago. They're attempting to buy you out left, right and center, road paving. Well, I, ministers walking all over Kuva, Rohan Sinanan, Stuart Young, I hear even Shamva Kujo, she ain't know what, I ain't know what device she had to use to reach Calcutta today, McBean, but Shamfa Kojo, down in Kuva today. You know the people who want to use the Atobolan Stadium from Balmain and Central Park and Karini Central, Shamfa Kojo locked them out for the last eight years. They can walk in the Atobolan Stadium, but she has the audacity to come down and beg people to vote for some non-entities on behalf of the People's National Movement. And they spat in your faces, they insulted you, they did not know where Coover was for the last eight years. And that is why I am saying to you here tonight, we must reject the People's National Movement. 
come the 14th of August, my brothers and sisters. And one final point uh, before I leave you here tonight. One final point. The people of Central Trinidad must never forget Rowley came in two general elections campaign, one in 2015 and one in 2020, and he begged the people of Central Trinidad, saying, give me a chance, give the PNM a chance in Central Trinidad, and we will address your issues. In fact, he said to the ex carini workers, a debt is a debt, and the PNM will honor it. Today, on the eve of a local government elections, I see my comrades, Comrade Jackman, and the point up here, OWTU branch, they are here. This is a government that disrupted over 9,000 lives in Petrotrin, 9,000 families. And on the eve of a local government campaign, ex petro train workers get 180 lots of land. I have no problem with workers getting lands because it is I, as the President General and the Old Trinidad Sugar and General Workers Trade Union, that piloted and ensured that there was this land breaking benefit for workers throughout the length and breadth of Trinidad and Tobago. But I want to warn the Petrotrain workers, just like we learned it with, through the dealing with the issue of the ex carini workers, the ex carini workers had to go to the courts. We had to go to the industrial court. We had to go to the high, the privy, the high court, sorry. And still, up till today, that land distribution is still up in the air because the wicked PNM government of Dr. Rowley, who came on two occasions and promised to honor and to finish the land distribution to the ex carini workers, that is still outstanding, my brothers and sisters. And tonight, uh, it was a work in progress under Kamala Pasad Bisesa. She withdrew the, uh, the matter at the Privy Council. She distributed her government, gave over 5,000 agricultural two-acre plots to the ex carini workers. Her government distributed over 3,000 residential lots to the former employees of Carini 1975 Limited. And tonight, I want to warn the Petrotrain workers or the former employees of Petrotrain, do not trust the PNM. Do not fall for their election promises and Mama Guy. And I challenge them. I ch um, challenge them, them here tonight to ensure that the distribution of the land for the ex carini workers is completed and it is sustained for the former employees of, of Petrotrain, my brothers and sisters. So there are a number of issues confronting the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago has collapsed under Dr. Rowley. It is a collapsed state. You are living in mortal fear of criminals. You, instead of criminals being on the run in Trinidad and Tobago, law-abiding citizens are on the run because of the failure of Keith Rowley as the head of the National Security Council and Fitzgerald Hines as a failed Minister of National Security. So. My brothers and sisters of Cuba, what is the code on the 14th of August? What is the code on the 14th of August? The code is yellow. We are voting. We are not toting. We are standing our ground with Kamala Pasad Bisesa. 
We are standing our ground with the United National Congress. I thank you. It's time for we to build a better TNT. Come on. It's time for we to Our next speaker served over 20 years in politics. He is an attorney of law by profession. He served as a former youth and education officer of the United National Congress. He is a member of the All Trinidad Sugar and General Workers Trade Union. One of the best ministers of housing and urban development. He currently serves as the deputy, as a deputy political leader of the United National Congress. Kuva, let us give a warm welcome with a lusty round of applause to the Lion of Oropo Chiefs, the fearless member of parliament, Dr. Rudal Munilal. It's time for we to build a better TNT. Come on. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let me begin by asking. You all know this is supposed to be a cottage meeting. When I look here, I see hundreds and hundreds of activists, supporters, members with flags of the UNC of Trinidad and Tobago. As far as we can see to the car park, we have folks standing outside in what was meant to be a cottage meeting. This is a large cottage. The political leader, the Honorable Kamala Prasad Bisasa, members of parliament, members of the national executive, the winning 15 candidates of the Cuba Tabaki Talparo Regional Corporation. Brothers and sisters listening in to our live broadcast on the internet, social media, and I believe on uh, television as well. Our brother Wesley Pancham out there in Canada, Norbert Sukram and his team. Brothers and sisters in New York, in Miami, throughout the Caribbean, including friends in Grenada at this time. I think people just love the UNC. Let's give them a round of applause for joining. A very dynamic, a very dynamic, outspoken columnist and, and social activist in Barbados, market vendor. Good night and welcome to the UNC meeting in Cuba as well. Brothers and sisters, tonight it is an easy task to come before you. Because when you had that level of firepower, of dynamism, of commitment in the speakers that came before me, I believe I could drop my voice and have a conversation. But not a conversation like Rowley. You all see what's happening now. Rowley like he abandoned going on platform. He don't want to stand up and face the people. They invite their party supporters, executives and whoever. And he sit down on this white so far, as we say, he cock up his foot there and he sit down, talking to themselves, talking to themselves. They probably sedate him and so on. And he's speaking and he's telling you he's so sorry that they could not um, fix the roads and fix the drain and prevent flooding. But don't worry, they have local government reform coming. That will take care of everything, brothers and sisters. He went to Sandy Grandi two nights ago, I believe. Or last night. Which one it was? Last night? Time flies. So I go on to Sandy Grandi today for that. Because I need, to, I need to get my investigation. What was he doing there? What manner of madness that you will go to a place like that? A place that has safely been and will be returned to the safe arms of the United National Congress. I go up there, brothers and sisters, to be told that Rowley came with a bundle of untruths. He came with untruths. He came with promises. That corporation, like many throughout the country, has been starved of funds. So there was a limit as to how much the corporation, the councillors, and so on can do. Let me tell you something. This thing doesn't require any 
aeronautical engineering degree. It doesn't require no local government reform. You know what local government reform is? People don't know, you know. Nobody, people don't. They say local government reform. So they put in our Committee for Information Technology. What information technology have to do with getting two wheelbarrow of oil sand to patch in front of your yard? Eh? They put in a committee for human resource management. What human resource management has to do when people flood and they want a mattress? They want, uh, like a lady today came to us, and um, 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 I almost cried when I hear this lady up there. And she said, look, when, it, when the flood comes, all they want is, is a little disinfectant. They want bleach, they want broom, and so on, brothers and sisters. And the resources are scarce because the government doesn't transfer resources so they can buy and supply. Brothers and sisters, you know what people want? People want to get their little box drain in front of the house. They want a box drain. And where there are drains, they want you to come and clean the drain. Cleaning a drain, cleaning a water course. A man called me by the home, he showed me the river. He said, boss, if they could just clean that. People do not want aircraft. People do not want... I go, to, I go right through the place, then nobody never come up to me and say they were workers as a CEO. They said we could just clean the little box drain in front of the house. There's something called a gully sucker. Wasa had one, I think it mash up by now. All you do is you invest a few dollars and you buy five or six gully suckers. It's things you buy in Germany or Holland or some one of these places. You bring it here and anywhere you see a box drain, you put it down inside and it take all the slush out. Clear out everything, the water pass. What do you think we need to, for that now? Uh, a committee for planning, research and development? That is what they put in, in the local government reform. Mr. Jackman, comrade, they say local government reform, a committee in every corporation for planning, research, and development. That go, that go clean the box drain. Because you are going to hire more people, pay them more money, and they cannot bring, we must reach a stage in this country where we match what people want with what public, the public authority gives. I always have this fight for many years with certain authorities and so on. People want to get water, electricity. There are places where for weeks and months they don't get water. They want electricity. People have a recreation ground. Do you know there are places now people beg for money? They beg for cement. They beg for um, brick. They beg, do you know what? To fix the pavilion on a ground. So the children can come. That is what people want. They don't want the IT committee, the research and planning, the public relations, the communications. They don't want that. So local government has nothing to do with that local government reform with bringing goods and services to the people. That is the point we make. That is the point. When, when we were in office, Mrs. Passad Bissessa ensured that the local government bodies got an increase in what is called their development um, program for development spending. That's a big word to say. They get more money for equipment, for goods and services. So when people call taxi, you could go and say, yes, we have, we have some oil sand. We could get some gravel and sand for you. Yes, we think we could help with the street light. We could help with the drain. We could do that. You remember, they call us the box drain government because we used to tell you how much box drain we build. Today, the same people demanding box drain. And Rowley sit down there cross his foot and he talking about local government reform you know he's accusing us i heard him last night he's accusing us of not dealing with the issues but he went last night to talk about the caribbean court of justice what the caribbean court of justice had to do with two wheelbarrow oil sand that people demanding what had to do with that he talked about the caribbean court of justice and people are crying on the ground for basic amenities basic amenities and this election, as a man said on a mic today, I was taken aback on the mic, Henry Awong. He said, this is the biggest local general elections we will face. This is the local general election. Because on August 14th, you must send a message to Keith Rowley that enough is enough, that your time has come, that this is phase one to remove you. I want to tell you, Arima, Sister Anita told us earlier, and Arima gone clear. They don't want to see the PNM there. 
in San Fernando. Key, um, what the fella name again? The, 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 the pin one. What's the name? The one who just called some pin or something. Stuart Young, that's the man. Stuart Young, they are having a meeting in St. Joseph Village. They cannot come out on the road. Look, we are on the road. Look at that car's passing there. We are on the road. We are in the public domain. Anybody could walk in here to take part in this meeting. Anyone. They go like behind closed doors. They go into our old PM stalwart. Well, I'm happy I didn't even know the person still alive. So I was happy to know the person still alive. They go on by the house and, and, and you know, cram cram in the living room and the kitchen. Bring a few people to talk because Stuart Young and Marvin Gonzalez cannot go in the public. Nobody want to see the PNM. Nobody want to see them in the public. They cannot go anywhere. And you make them out by their lies. They come to tell you, well, property tax will go to the um, community so you will get more money. And you will... I want to ask them how much property tax we collecting for Kucha One Trace and Debe. How much we gonna get for Kucha One Trace property tax? Huh? How much? 60 million, 50 million, 100 million? That property tax is linked really to industry, to industry. So rural Trinidad and those places outside of the industrial centers will get no property tax, will get no money. That is the, the, the con man job. Why can't you just not transfer money to the corporation so the councils will have more at their disposal to do in their communities? Instead of half of a box drain, they could do 20. When we were in office, we allowed a system like that to work in local government, brothers and sisters. And this is the point that we make. This has nothing to do with local government election, um, local government reform that they are talking about. This election, local government election, this is about removing Keith Rowley, getting them off the map of Trinidad. Tobago. Tobago has shown us the way. We must follow their example. And on election day, rid Trinidad and local government of the PNM. Brothers and sisters, there is only one leader to lead this country. And we are proud in the UNC that our leader, Kamla Pasad Bisesa, stands on the side of the victims of crime. If you put the two leaders together, if you, if you put up two pictures and you see the two leaders, well, yeah, I want to see the two leaders, but if you put up the two leaders together, one leader stands on the side of victims, law-abiding citizens, and one leader appears to stand on the side of the criminal element. Why is it every time they talk about our standing ground policy, they appear to be defending criminals? Our policy is very clear. It is articulated by Mrs. Passard Bissessa. We all know lawyers here, lawyers everywhere. We all know the common law has what is called self-defense and so on. Everybody know that. As the common law is common. So we know that. But those laws have not worked. If they work, you think you would have home invasion today? You think you would have had so much robbery and crime? Today, an elderly person, I'm told just this evening, was robbed a hundred feet from the Woodbrook police station. They might have been robbed in the police station. They were robbed next to the police station. People invaded a home in Barrackpore, elderly couple. I mean, I want to tell all y'all, all y'all look a little young and thing, you know. But one day you could be elderly too. And when you're in your home, you have worked your whole life, you save a little money, you know. You save a little money and you're in your house, you lock your door, you put on your TV, you want to look at a show and so on. As a society, we must give a certain sanctity and dignity to the home, to your safety, to your security, and particularly elderly people like that, because there's a stage in our lives where we may not be able to defend ourselves as if we are young people and sprightly and so on. And it is, it is unspo you, you can't speak, it is, it, you know, it is so dastardly that when people invade a home and beat up elderly people and steal and rob and traumatize them, Mrs. Passard Bissessa says, that will come to an end with stand your ground policy. The armchair, the armchair legal experts and things say, well, you don't need no new law. It has self-defense and common law. I want to ask them, it working? 
It working? But if it was working, we wouldn't have this level of augmentation. So brothers and sisters, we need to strengthen law. That is the purpose as civilization develops. You strengthen law to deal with problems. You all remember it had something called kidnapping here. And everybody, you lock up your door because your children gone. They snatch your children, your wife, your daughter, whatever. Manning and Mr. Pande worked together. We went to the parliament. Mrs. Posad Bisesa was an integral part of that committee. And we passed a law that criminalized kidnapping for ransom with a huge long jail term. So why we didn't say it already have crime kidnapping on the books, leave it right there. Because as a law, it already deal with that. It could not because it did, the, the criminal elements did not respect that. Today when a man come in your house with guns and a mask, what you got to do? Ask him, brother, you want a plate of food? He said, brother, you want a plate of food? We cook pillow today. What you'll do? You have a second to make up your mind. How do you respond? When we tell Rowley this, he trivialize it. He say, um, so if a man jump over your wall and he come to thief a Zaboka, you will kill him? I want to ask Rowley, when last he jump over a wall and try to thief a Zaboka? Huh? Today in today's day, brothers and sisters, don't trivialize it like that. But it's when they come in your home, they know you have a little jewelry or money or something. That is who we are dealing with. And today the criminal elements, today I say without any apology, the criminal elements can depend on the People's National Movement, but they will not see their way under the United National Congress. They will not see their way. And when a government, I want to tell you, when a government breaks the law, what do you expect for a society? What do you expect for society when the government break the law? Saddam Hussein, Kamla Prasad Bisesa, Anand Ramlogan, Ravi Balgobin Maraj, leading an important charge with the Integrity Commission. Today we can say categorically, this Integrity Commission has no integrity. None. Every member of the board of commissioners must resign forthwith for what they have presided over. I have in my hand a statement by the Integrity Commission. Could you imagine a man on the commission, Jills, I think his name is Jills, and I, he, I asked Mr. Jills to forgive me if I don't pronounce the name right, but he's Mr. Jills. He applied to be a senior counsel. That is a gift almost from an attorney general and prime minister in our system. They give out all, you remember the other day, they line up about 50 people, they give out senior counsel like if it's nuts. Yeah, because when you're senior counsel, you get more money too. Huh? Right? So they give out that the other day like nuts. The man apply. He did not disclose in the meeting that dealt with Keith Rowley that he has applied and his application is also pending. Because with senior counsel, it is not one day to get it. It is not August 31st you get the senior counsel. You could get that anytime. And once your application is inside, it is inside. You have applied. So nothing prevents Keith Rowley from giving this gentleman senior counsel next week. Nothing prevents him. And in the meeting, they did not disclose their interests that they could be conflicted according to the Integrity in Public Life Act itself. And that is a serious matter. Yeah. He disclosed before, but not in the meeting. When it was more important to disclose in the meeting. Keith Rowley come now and he's trying to cover it up to say, well, I declare in Form A. But I didn't declare in Form B. I didn't know I had to declare in Form B. Man, he in Parliament for 40 years, filling out integrity form like me for 23 years. And you didn't know that land, when you say declare all your lands and so on. If you have building, where the building build on Mars? Where it build in the sky? Between two aircraft in the sky, you own the piece of land? The land is on the ground if you own a condominium or whatever. It is in land. You have an interest in what is called then a beneficial interest. I had the thing to, I, today, I read Dr. Rowley's statement. Now, I am amazed. And I want to say Dr. Rowley appears to be a very successful man in public life. When I read the amount of property, about how much, six or nine, and them just quarrel when poor people like we get a house, when we get a car, they want to know why you're driving this car. Why well, you're not driving that car? They have about nine property. Rowley today in the newspaper disclosed he has about six or nine. I'm just saying that just so nobody sue me. But six or nine properties. 
he has investments in about eight companies i have no investment not even in one the man has nine companies invested he has to recuse himself from cabinet if they discuss in plebeco national um nel in enterprise nfm anyway go he buy shares anywhere history take him he buy shares he probably has shares in Udicott too anywhere he go he buy shares but i want to ask him something if you have seven eight properties you your wife and your children why they still living in the diplomatic center but if you have house so much house and land and you're so proud why all these adults still living in the diplomatic center and we have to buy clean milk for the baby and thing why but mr rowley put the children to live in the homes that you're so happy that you buy over the years as a father don't have them living in ta under taxpayer roof paid for by the taxpayer so that integrity commission matter is a matter we will explore and expose it has to do with a director there mr jills it has to do with the chairman's role as well it has to do with their discussions and this as saddam say this crazy uh conclusion that he committed a wrong but we can't do nothing we're not doing anything about it well then why did you say he committed a wrong <coughs> why did you say that if he commits a wrong there must be a consequence why did you not leave it to the dpp or the police as they did with Baste upande with finba ganga you all remember they report them to the police and say investigate them they didn't declare why you don't report that to the police and say police investigate he do you clear him you terminate in, in the context where the prime minister of the country failed to declare his assets and properties and so on so brothers and sisters that is a critical matter that is developing now last night i took a note of some of the things he said he's talking about what give them a chance again they had no money do you know on the same day he cut ribbon or something to on the same day he cut ribbon to open a ministry of health building i find this is obscene and indecent imagine they build a building for the ministry of health office for 460 million dollars but in the hospital in san fernando they can't buy a machine to do cataract surgery if you go there you can't get a pill a tablet you can't get an ointment a policeman bunny hand on a stove the other day at least that's what he tell me he bunny hand on a stove the other day he gone in the hospital they say something called gauze or something like that i don't know about that they don't have it he has to buy that he has to buy cotton and whatever you call that and then when he the doctor and nurse say if you bring that we go help you to put it together on your hand police policemen tell me that and you cannot get a tablet you cannot get you go in the hospital is the worst in the, in the world but 460 million dollars to build a building the Massey deal with Massey Communications was what, 240, 250 million dollars. Between that is a billion dollars gone. But had no money for infrastructure. So do not accept the lies. Do not accept the excuses. Brothers and sisters, when they come with that, chase them out. Chase them out of the country. It will be left to the United National Congress to rebuild this country. It will be left to us to repair, to rehabilitate, to restart. You know, I travel in the Caribbean a bit. A fellow in the Caribbean met me a few months ago. You know, he tell me, he said, Rudal, how did they do it? I said, how do you mean, how did they do it? He said, how did they destroy Trinidad and Tobago so quickly? So quickly. Look at the refinery. Now, you didn't hear him last night, and I come back to last night. They closed down the refinery. They said they're giving OWTU, man, and they beat the parliament table. One of them, I think, mash up the parliament table, you know, that they call the carpenter to fix they beat it down they say but we proud we give in the union refinery closed down now how much years if you try to plug on that you, you blow up san fernando if you try to plug that on you blow up san fernando they have not they close it down neglect it brothers and sisters now we come in to say we have no reasonable offer nobody has made a reasonable offer but what about the order beauty you they made an offer which you accepted and you boast about it and then block them so don't buy don't buy the gimmickry now they're calling a few workers here and there to give them land they're calling people to give them home improvement grant all of that is cheap politicking because elections is due so you call them now to give them eight years you give them nothing but you call them last minute look a little housing grant 
a couple thousand dollars buy galvanize and nail and hammer that is what they're doing brothers and sisters so don't fall for that don't fall for that stand strong we say in our party in our campaign and our leader reminds us the purpose of everything she does everything we do is to secure tnt our job is to secure trinidad and tobago secure the elderly secure the children secure the workers our job is to secure those people who are sick our job is to provide for the uh, law enforcement community so they will have proper terms and conditions i told you last night or night before the police in this country many officers are owed outstanding duty allowance and so on many of them are owed monies they can't pay them but 45 million dollars for srp kate in england to investigate unc politicians 45 million dollars gone so brothers and sisters we are coming to the end of this uh, this is the largest cottage meeting in the caribbean that was ever held we give ourselves a round of applause for this brothers and sisters i want to tell you tonight that the pnm is an opposition in waiting we are the government in waiting and they are the opposition in waiting their time is coming close brothers and sisters the local government election is here local government will be followed by general elections as sure as you know the sun will rise in the morning general elections will be called and we will wait for them we will wait for them and we will treat them with the same contempt that they treated you for eight years you will go to the ballot station to the box and cast a strong vote on august 14th this is your time this is your time to get back at Imbert, at Rowley, at Stuart Young, brothers and sisters. This is your time to get back at them. When they come to you, reject them. That is why they are afraid of the people and they are hiding. Brothers and sisters, we were coming up on the highway and, and you know, some things disturb me so much. The, two, three years now, two, three years now, we're talking about the cable barrier on the highway, Ravi. Two, three years now, they cannot fix the cable barriers on the highway that cost a few dollars. That is life and death. A nurse from the San Fernando General Hospital died. She was killed in an accident when the car crossed over lane from, one south, from south to north, and she died. And these people will not even take a small amount of money to fix the cables to save the lives of people. But they will spend $460 million on a house for the Ministry of Health. Rowley spent $45 million on a home for the Prime Minister in Tobago. While he was showing, he informed there, I think he had two properties in Tobago. He wanted the next one paid by taxpayers. You see, if you go in your private house, you have to take your private money to buy your food and drink. When you go in the government house, the government provide that. That is what he is. This fella is just a jacket and tie loafer, you know. I mean, face it. Anyway. Let me stop there, let me stop there, let me stop there. Let me stop there, let me stop there. I stop that. Brothers and sisters, come out in your numbers on August 14th. Come out in your numbers and vote resoundingly for the NTA throughout Trinidad where they have their candidates for the UNC. Let us remove the PNM in all the corporations. And I'm sure that with your love, your support, your mobilization, the United National Congress will triumph. Long live the United National Congress. Long live the struggle for equality, justice, fair play. Long live the Honorable Kamala Pasad Bissessa. God bless you. I love you. It's time for we to build a better TNT. Come on. It's time for we to vote for the UNC. So let me tell them. August 14, vote for UNC. That's the way to secure your family. August 14, vote for yeah. UNC. That's the way to secure your family. Call it all the candidates. Who was a Baki Salparo candidate on stage? Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard it, you have felt it. It's all up to us. On Monday, tell your friends and family throughout Trinidad to come out and vote for your UNC candidate because we are feeling and smelling a landslide victory on Monday the 14th. See you at the end. It's time for we to build a better TNT. Come on. 
It's time for we to vote for the UNC So let me tell them August 14th vote for UNC That's the way to secure your family August 14th vote for UNC That's the way to secure your country Thursday night, it's your turn. Come la Passade, me Senta, the UNC and the NTA are coming to Arima New Government School. Alongside Kamla Passad Bicetta, Captain Gary Griffith will be none other than Austin Jack Warner and all of your candidates for the Arima Borough Corporation. August 14th, both UNC, both NTA, secure your future. Stand your ground. This election, real election, come out, all are invited, Arima New Government School, Thursday night, Thursday night Arima, 7 p.m., be there, both UNC and NPA.